Hi my dudes and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you don't actually know who I am, I'm Marin. I'm a microbiologist and a science explainer. You might recognize me from science YouTube channels like Seeker, but I also make videos about all kinds of science all over the internet from this channel, my own personal channel, to channels like Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you may have also seen that I've recently been working with Samsung and in particular, their Solve for Tomorrow program. And as someone who like, basically just lives and breathes science and I'm super passionate about making education opportunities equitable and available to everyone. I am so excited to be a part of this program. But first, I feel like I should probably explain what it is. A Solve for Tomorrow is essentially a science and technology innovation competition. Groups of students from across the country present their unique problem-solving ideas for how they can use STEM to creatively solve issues in their communities. Like Mission Valley High in my home state of California, for example, who in 2016 came up with a one-of-a-kind design for solar-powered electric vehicle charging stations in their city. Let me emphasize again, these are high schoolers or Garing High School in Nebraska, who used drone technology in 2017 to reduce the overuse of pesticides in their local farming community. Or Holly Grove Middle School in North Carolina, who were named one of last year's grand prize winners for their sensor-activated color-changing bus stop signs to keep pedestrians near their school safe. So when Samsung reached out to me about being a part of Solve for Tomorrow, I was honestly pretty blown away by the real tangible support that this company provides these kids for their education throughout the whole competition. In the early stages of the competition, there are 100 state winners, and that's at least one winner from each state, which I think is really cool. And each of those win $15,000 in technology and supplies to make their project a reality, including video equipment to document and showcase their project, which really appeals to my science communication heart. And then all of the national finalists are selected to participate in the final pitch event where they present their project to a panel of judges. And each of these final teams is awarded $50,000 in technology and supplies. And from that pool of 20, five grand prize winners are selected by the judges to receive $100,000 in technology and classroom supplies for their achievement in the contest. And that's kind of like a mind blowing amount of resources. Because I don't know if you guys know this about me, but my whole family have been teachers at one point or another. My mom, my dad, my sister. And my mom has been a teacher for my whole life. It's one of the reasons that I went into science communication after also becoming a scientist. So I know firsthand from growing up with this every day how resources like that can totally transform a classroom and in turn, the lives of students and teachers. And I just have to take one more minute to talk about how cool this is because when I got to talk to Samsung about why they do Solve for Tomorrow, like I was interested in their motivations, they just came back with this idea that you know a country is only as strong as its students and they wanted to be part of making the next generation of solvers and thinkers and innovators in America really strong and really bright and really supported and make our future as a country better by by fostering it, our students and again that just makes my geeky mind go like that's so awesome <laughs> it makes me so happy and it's it's the main reason that I wanted to work with Samsung. I think this program is so incredible. And by the time you're watching this video, the 20 finalists for 2020's Solve for Tomorrow have already been announced and they are now prepping for their final pitches. In the past 10 years of Solve for Tomorrow, the program has reached almost 20,000 schools. And I can't even really begin to wrap my head around all of the incredible leaps these students may have been able to make because of these resources and how that impact has then rippled out into their communities for years to come. And between you and me, I'm actually pretty jealous I didn't get to do this in high school. I think the program started the year before I graduated, but I did get to do the next best thing and spend a day with one of the teams of amazing kids who won Solve for Tomorrow last year and ask them all about their project and check in with where they are now. My video that I got to make with them is coming up next is my next Solve for Tomorrow video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to catch that when it comes out and to be totally inspired and have your mind blown. 
And make sure to follow both me and Solve for Tomorrow on all social media platforms to catch the results of this year's exciting final pitch event. And make sure you go to samsung.com slash solve to watch all 20 videos from this year's national finalists and see all the amazing things the young minds of tomorrow are coming up with. Also, by the way, I filmed this whole video on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.